everybody, and welcome. This is the Travel Nation Podcast Live. We are so excited that you guys are watching us, whether it's on Facebook Live, maybe you're standing outside at the Travel Nation Expo. We are so glad that you guys are here. It's going to be a big day, guys. I mean, I feel it, like it's already been a big day. It's a huge right. day. And we haven't even gotten halfway through. Well, we said that two days ago because we've been in events. We're here live at the Travel Nation Retreat, and mm. our event started two days ago, but the official retreat for agents is starting today. today. Yeah. It's right a big now. day. It's happening right now, actually. Right there now. is an expo going on just across the hall with wow. the most amazing vendors and our travel partners. And there's some swag being sold over there. <laughs> Lots is of there swag. some swag being crazy. sold? <laughs> so Black Friday sells over there. Yeah, a little less stabbing, oh, yeah. you know, people, yeah. people not yeah, going to like Walmart, with a knife. You know. But we have quite the different schedule for you guys. So if you caught this with us last year, we were just babies, we're right? <laughs> we're sorry. We were just babies in the podcast industry, especially the live podcast industry. And so yeah. this year, we've got a schedule. We've got vendors. You're going to want to stay tuned for the entire hour and a half special Absolutely. because this is a, I mean, I'm looking at what's coming up. This is a lot of good stuff. So why don't you guys give the audience a little preview of what's coming their way in the next hour and a half? Oh, goodness. Yeah. So we actually have interviews lined up, and that's something that we did not do last year. We were just travel ba travel podcast babies, like Alston said, but um, we have the best travel partners here. Sandals, Royal Caribbean, I mean, our Disney destinations, our, our partners help us to grow, and we just want to make sure that everyone can have an amazing vacation, whether it's on a cruise, at an all-inclusive, in a Disney theme park, and our vendors are here to to interview with us and to kind of give you a little insight into their brand. So we're here to help you get out there. That's yep. right. Yep. I mean, today's already been great. I joked with the production guys. I've always wanted to be on college game day on ESPN. So I feel like We're this here. is the closest I'll yeah. ever get. That's right. Yeah. So go dogs. Um, well, we, we need it, man. That's right. We need that's it for right. tomorrow. Yeah, prayers. National prayers prayers Championships accepted. tomorrow. If you're not aware, Georgia versus Alabama. This is our year. It's going to happen. Claiming it. It's yep. got to happen eventually, right? I mean, yep. with we the odds. So. Of us At some point, Alabama. it has to happen. Has to. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here's where we're going today, guys. If you're watching this live, we don't want you to tune out. If you need to put this on mute, you're in your car. That's fine. But we want you to tune in for the entire broadcast. Here's what's coming your way. We've got Adam Duckworth, president and founder of Travelmation. He's going to be here with us. Live. Live and in person, as, as what I'm told. <laughs> then after that, we are going to rehash what we talked about if you missed the global announcement. So Adam's going to go through yeah. all the major, major shifts that are coming your way for Travelmation. And if you're a client or if you're a guest, there's a lot of great stuff coming. Um, talk about some of the vendors that are coming and some of our guests. Yeah, I mean, we have lots of them. So our very own social media director with Travelmation, Kristen Peterson. Woo! Wow. A, a Disney queen and herself is going to come and talk about Disney destinations. I'm super pumped about that. So yes. that's going to be great. We've got, you mentioned Abby with the Royal Caribbean. Oh. We've got sandals, beaches, hanging out with a lot of people today. So And a very special guest from a very special TV show is going to be co coming in and talking about her brand. We'll, we'll save that. Let's tease it out. Because <laughs> that's like a famous person. Let them person. figure it out, yeah. She, and I'm excited about that one. She is famous. Yeah, yeah that's I a true story. I see Josh Lamb in the room. He's a little nervous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're big but, fans. But she'll be here, so... It's going to be a great day. We're going to have a great time with you guys. We hope that you're having a great time. If you're in the expo right now and you're listening, like enjoy it. The lines will go by quickly. You guys will get to the swag. Don't worry. You're going to make it. <laughs> yep. You'll come out There's alive. There's plenty. I saw boxes and boxes. Boxes. So yep. many boxes. Yes. Box so swag. if, all right, so let's start with this. So w let's talk about where we are right now. So if somebody's listening to this episode in their car, let's describe the scene what is the Travelmation Retreat? What's the Travelmation Expo? What's happening right now? The Travelmation Retreat for me is the kickoff for the year. And that is personally, because we're all travel agents as yep. well as podcasters, but as agents, this is like the push and the fire that we need. And we just meet with all these vendors and we get together, which we are a virtual company. I mean, we Yep. The three of us Zoom weekly yes. for our 36 podcast. 36 hours together last 36 year. 36 hours we spent together <laughs> True last story. year. It's a lot. Uh, it's talking to each other, which is crazy. And, um, you know, we have, as a company, we have Zoom meetings and everything. So just to be together, we have our opening night tonight, and it's going to be just, it's going to be one for the books. This is Travelmation's yeah. 10th year. So to have our annual company retreat here in the contemporary 
in the Ballroom of the Americas, which is famous in and of itself. It's just going to be a, such a memorable evening and a memorable time here at Retreat. Tim, why is the Ballroom of the Americas famous? Tell, tell the listeners. Isn't it where Nixon gave his yes. famous speech? I'm yeah. not a crook speech. I'm not a so, crook. Yeah, so that's <laughs> that's where you know we'll be having our big party tonight. So that's yes. interesting. Yes. I don't know. Should we talk about the party? I think oh. we should. I think we should save it because we've got a special guest coming in to talk about the party oh, in a little bit. Yes, that's yes, right. yes. That's right. But for those of you that are watching at home, especially if you're not a Travelmation travel agent yet, this is not by any means a marketing push. This is a free resource that we are launching right now. This is when it is going live. We, for the very first time at Travelmation, we made an ebook. Tim wrote some of it, Adam wrote some of it, I wrote some of it. Basically what it's for is this is a resource if you've ever, like if you're watching this or if you're listening to this and you thought, I want to know what it's like to be a travel agent. How would I even get started with becoming a travel agent, especially with Travelmation? All you have to do is go to our website or scan the QR code if you're watching live, travelmation.net slash ebook, and you can download this five-step guide to turning your love of travel into the perfect side job. Yep. And yep. this is free. We want all of you to download it. If you're interested, Cookie, I see you out there. If you want to download it right now, you go for it. But Tim, talk a little bit about why you thought this would be important. What what kind of contents in this ebook? Yeah, I mean, we had, you know, a couple different people share stories just about, you know, we have almost what, 700, 700. travel agents. Yeah. And I bet there's 700 different stories of how people became travel agents, yeah. right? <laughs> so like it's pretty it's just a it's a very unique industry. And so we tried to boil all of that down into a short book and just to be kind of a next step for people if they're curious or interested or I know before I came a travel agent, I didn't know really what a travel agent did. Right. So this yeah. could be helpful. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. And it's got great pictures, it's got great content in there. And honestly, if you're a new agent even and you're listening to this, this might be a great download for you I because agree. these five sure. steps basically will take you from interest to actively selling travel. So I yep. think it could be helpful for anybody. Yep. Absolutely. And sometimes Absolutely. the beginning can be so overwhelming when you are a new yes. agent and there's so much was, information out there. I was talking about that to somebody yesterday. There were like 20 of us, you know, and now there's 700. Yeah. It has to be very overwhelming, right? So like, yeah, I, I think that's it's a great point. to think about. When you guys think back to your first retreat, transitioning now back to where we are, what's going on today? When you think back to your first retreat, what was that? vibe like what were were you nervous did you know anyone did you come in without any friends knowing I, friends <laughs> i knew so i live in south florida and i just so happened to find travelmation not even knowing they were headquartered in south florida and yeah i did go to my first retreat alone i mean the avid, the listener knows that my in-laws do live in town so i just kind of i stayed with them i did all the events here on disney property kind of by myself but i still knew some south florida people but Definitely wasn't like my tribe at the time, it, but during that retreat, you find your tribe, and um, and now I mean, forget it. I mean, the three of us are inseparable. If it's you find story. one of yep. us, you find the other two. It's I true. mean, we're not far from each other. Um, just we didn't even talk about if you're listening. We're all wearing <laughs> navy today. Yes. And Christina like hyperventilated when we came downstairs because she was like, "Oh my gosh, we like match. we just did this." I don't think yeah. you or I would have even noticed. No, like, no. Oh, only me, cool. only the but girl. She knew. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, I think from the first retreat when you're it's in maybe not knowing anybody, you will find your tribe. I yeah. mean, and now it's four years later for me. This is my fourth retreat, and I, I couldn't ask for a better tribe. So it, it's a great culture that we have here at Travelmation. It's awesome. Tim, yep. what about you? What was your first retreat like? Oh, man, it was small compared to this. <laughs> I mean, it felt well, yeah. like yeah. it felt like just a bunch of... Like a slumber party back then. Yeah, we were yeah. in the cabins, weren't we? At yep. a, or the uh, treehouse villas? Yes. Um, I slept on a bunk bed in a treehouse villa with somebody I had never met before on, on the other bunk bed. Um, but we're friends to this day. So Justin Kennedy, shout out. Yeah. So, Hilarious. But um, yeah, I mean, gosh, I remember just like all of us fit, fit into like two tables at Jico. Right. Yeah. The it is, a, what a it is a company story. Yeah. What yeah, a we, time that was. We don't yeah. have time for that story. But no, we don't. It, it's but, an um, infamous dinner. But yeah, I mean, similar to Christina, I, I knew a few people from like talking online, but yeah. really that I developed a ton of lifelong friendships right there. Yeah. So, yep. and I've seen so many agents just today already that this is their, not only first retreat, but 
within the first couple months of them joining. Uh huh. And so, number one, not an MLM. We are not an MLM in no. any way. No. You do not get paid for recruiting your other travel nation <laughs> friends to become agents. This is not an MLM. I think the excitement and the vibe makes people think that, though. Yeah. You know, like, usually when you see that kind of... we. <laughs> We were joking yesterday, looking at the big ballroom about the MLM thing, because we're going to have to probably move to a different room next year, because we'll have ballroom. too yeah. many people. But it's like, that's what you think, right? When you see the big ballroom full of people, it's like, you know, you're, it's like a, you're you're essential mind. oils company <laughs> yeah. or you're, yeah. what, you know, like, that's just yeah. what you think of, but that's, that's not us. No, we're just a bunch of crazy Disney people. But the so. excitement is for real. Travel. The passion is yeah. for real. We are travel people. Yeah. Now, we're going to transition because this is going to be a big year, and it's time for us to talk about us a little bit, right? Yeah. This is our year, I would say. I'm claiming it. I'm staking the year. I remember yes. saying that two years ago, so remember? be careful. Uh, well, the pod, <laughs> I meant for the podcast. Right, right, right. I got you. I got you. 2022 is the year of the Travelmation podcast. We've got big things. Uh, big plans. Big plans and big things to celebrate. Yep. So before we talk about what's coming forward, let's look back a little bit, and let's talk about you know some of the announcements, some of the... Uh, awards per se that we were you know we just became the number 12 out of the top 100 disney, disney podcasts. podcasts yeah my goodness what in the world how did that happen i don't know i'm really not we sure we don't so. know but so. if you're listening right now it's because of you so thank you yes, that's right thank absolutely. you absolutely yep. thank you for that really so, um, that's amazing already put in 77 great episodes out there we you guys, you guys have given us such good feedback, what content you want to hear, and I've just I've enjoyed the ride with you guys. We were talking about it earlier. It's, some people didn't think we'd make it past seven episodes, and we just launched our 77th episode. Yeah. When you know what's interesting about that, when you, you say listening to feedback and we're 77 episodes in, I was just talking to Liz Perky, who she's like a huge higher up person with sandals and beaches resorts you know she's here as a vendor but she caught me in the hallway and she was like i love your podcast i listen every week that's crazy. and i was like well that's weird <laughs> first of all vendors? <laughs> yeah but she said one of my favorite episodes was the 50th episode when you guys talked about the good and the bad right nice. and so i'm like it was just yeah. an interesting point and it i love that you know I, we just try to keep it real so yeah, we do you know, 77 episodes in 77 episodes and one of the one of the things we found or stumbled upon or really just were blessed with in 2021 was a special guest that we had on a couple episodes and like we said the feedback and so we said we need to do something about this yep. and so a big announcement for us for 2022 so pumped come into the travel nation podcast we have somebody joining our team mm -hmm. and it's time for us to reveal it. Christina, do you want to oh do, you do the goodness. honors? I think you should. I think I should. I mean, this guy is just... He's a one of a kind. He's a one of a kind. He has these one-liners. Actually, let's side note. Let's do a little sidebar here. Tomorrow's episode that's going to drop Features made the three him. of us... It does feature him. And made the three of us actually cry from laughing I so hard. I think I spit so my true. drink out that I was drinking. Yeah, yes. it was pretty funny. You can audibly just hear how <laughs> much we were laughing. But anyway, he's a great guy. He's going to be in a wonderful edition. Please welcome the Travelmation podcast correspondent, Christian Dumont. Yes. There he is. is. <laughs> wow. There he is. Wow. And we immediately wow. all look underdressed. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Is it the glasses? No, it's yeah. everything. Okay. It's, <laughs> yeah. For the people that are watching live, would you call this a brooch? This is a brooch. Man. Yes, it is. I don't have any is brooches. It, Breaches? Not too much. What's the plural Spelled brooch? Spelled like brooch. Breached? Uh, I don't no. know. I, I, that's... You're asking too much of me, then. <laughs> well, guys, if you've never met Christian, Christian, give him a little bit. Give him a 30-second preview. Who are you? I mean, you did it on the podcast, but why, why are you excited to join the team? Well, I'm excited to join the team because in July of 2020, what these three did, they had 1,000 downloads, and just recently it was released over 20,000 downloads. 20, um, yeah, uh, that is just... Yeah, 25, if, but who's counting? 25. 25. We're counting. We're counting, we but count. that's selfish. <laughs> it's beyond amazing. You know, a lot of people, they would love to just do 10,000 downloads, and yeah. so what you three have done, you've, you've done something so impressive, and this trio is so amazing. Uh, I'm just happy to... I, I think what happened was you guys... you. 
you you did too much too fast and the powers that be said we've got to we've got, we've to, got to up. we've got to tone it down a little bit right so they dug to the bottom of the barrel oh, oh, <laughs> stop it. It get out, out of here <laughs> and what it's just an honor to be here with y'all yeah. yep. i'm so excited for this next year and to share i just hope that when the listeners they listen to tomorrow's episode that you've already teased if if we don't get canceled from that, that's right. Then we're doing something um, oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If it's we could just controversial. Take a I've got um, I'm having a stack of um, eight by ten glossies of myself delivered. We're perfect. Gonna, I want to sign them and hand them out to guests. Is that Man, okay? Yeah, that'd be perfect. Absolutely. That'd be great. When you guys announced it and the reception, it really I was not expecting that. It took me. People by are pumped, surprise, man. So I'm people excited. are pumped. Yes. We got to give the people what they want. That's right. Give them what they want. That's what we do. We live to serve here. And another thing, another reason we wanted to add to the team is we want to up our social media presence, not just because we want to grow this brand, but we want to dialogue better. We want to put the social back in social media. And Christian's going to help us do that. He's going to help us turn episodes into Facebook posts where we can actually talk about the controversial things that we say on the show. (laughs) And he's going to do that. He's going to be such a great addition to the team. So Christian, officially welcome. welcome. Thank to the you. Travel Nation podcast. Well, to have you, brother. We are Thank so you. excited to have him. <laughs> All right, it's time to bring on our first guest. So, Woo! without further ado, the president and founder of Travel Nation. The reason this podcast live is even happening is because of this guy, the second best dressed guy in the room to Christian, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Adam Duckworth. Woo! All right. Here it's he a is. tie for first. Well, I should be tied. Yeah, it's a tie for first. I'll take second to this guy. <laughs> yeah, right. Adam, welcome to the show, buddy. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Um, I'm thrilled to be here. I'm guest number one, right? Guest yeah. number and one. I'm sitting next to this guy, new blood here, um, with a brooch. That's yeah. right. Come See, on. he knew what it was. I feel yeah. like I need a brooch at some man, point. The jacket <laughs> you wore to dinner last night. Man. Oh, hot I, there. Hot I was digging through the trash cans at Disney Springs trying to find <laughs> something to eat while you were at the boathouse. The jacket... Don't ever do that again. To that sucker school. should be illegal. Yeah. I'm telling you, hot. That one was to call my wife and apologize because there were some ladies stumbling in the room. <laughs> oh, That's awesome. I deal with some crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, she does. Yeah, puts I up with can. a lot. Yeah, somebody get Christina a drink or something. It's All right. a lot. Adam, for those that are listening, those that are watching, give us a quick recap of what went down at 11 a.m. this morning. Ooh. Well, we, we changed the game at 11 a.m. A lot. There was changed some, the world. We, well, I mean, that's a little steep. <laughs> but, you know, we, we did change the game for Travelmation and our future. And I don't know about you guys. You are all part of the global announcement. But that was really cool. And if you were that's even great. in the room live, that was, I'm telling you, there was just an energy you there that it. was. There was a lot of people there. Oh, so there was. 150 people in the just standing there watching. So we announced a new logo. I mean, it's here, which is great. Yep. Minus suitcase and but, new podcast and new logo. podcast logo. logo. It is. logo we just right. really felt like it was time to freshen our brand. We've been doing this for a while. I like to say that Travelmation has grown up. Yep. We're yeah. a, an organization now that really, I think, is a, a a staple in the industry. And I think there are so many people who want to be a part of what we're doing. We're we're so thankful, and there are suppliers who want to engage with us. So we we felt like it was time to do something new and different. That was number one. One. We talked about podcast. We talked about Tim and CRC with wow. sandals. Dude, I mean, amazing. I know they're going to talk about that on this show, but and I can yeah. talk about it all. I mean, that's a massive accomplishment. Massive. And I, I think, you know, Crazy. less than 100 people in the United States are CRCs. Right. So in the world, Carly said. In the world? That's what yes. Carly said. Wow. Well, if Carly Listen. said it, I don't know. I trust so, her. Perfect. And for those even better. who don't but, know what we're talking about, CRC is. Sorry, CRC. <laughs> thank you, Reese. You always <laughs> remind us. CRC life. is the chairman's royal club. Yep, is that yeah, right? That's correct. Okay, and it is basically a, a level of sales with sandals that is unmatched. There's less than 100 agents who have reached that level in the world, and Tim reached that level. Ooh, and awesome. that is just massive for our industry and for travel making. Appreciate it, brother. So, yeah. can, again, up. congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Here we go. And then we... Announced global luxury travel. That's huge. Travelmation, Karen Crater, who Karen. is phenomenal. And then we talked about our bump in status with Disney destinations, which will take place in January of 23. So we reached that diamond threshold, and the crowd just went crazy. Wow. And we've been oh, yeah. working Bumpers. at it for a while. And so, yeah, that's kind of what happened at the global announcement. Me, I always feel like if we're going to 
say something, we could just say it. But why not have some pomp and circumstance? Oh, we had that's some, yeah. so, I thought, well, we I thought Bob Iger was coming. Listen, when we, people saw that set up this morning, they yeah. were like, "What? <laughs> who do you guys think you are? And I was yeah. like, we know who we are. I think I saw some guests at the Contemporary just coming over to watch. Yeah, they were like, <laughs> yeah, that's a popcorn. Agent, I think you know? we got their application. Yeah. <laughs> oh, perfect. We did. We but we're already, they looked it up and saw yeah. who we were. So. There you yeah. go. Adam, you just got to get out there. Got to get right. out there. Oh, get out there. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be everywhere. Utah everywhere. Line. It's our Eat More Chicken, our Just Do It Travel Mation. It's get out there. It's trademarked. Don't steal it. Not, get out, of, not we'll get out of there. Get, get out there. <laughs> get out here. <laughs> get out. Not that. <laughs> Somebody tries to steal it, we'll take him to Judge Judy. That's, that's right. right. Small claims court. Show. Which, yeah. you know, that's Adam big Stirl Judge Stirl Judy fan. I'm a big, if you're watching, Judge, just so you know that, you know, I appreciate what you do, and I use it a lot in my life. Like, have you ever seen her bang on the table? You know, you're not she's listening. So Is that what you do with Libby? Yeah, that's so right. Yeah. I do. I, I say you're not listening. Adam, but do you know where she lives? Naples. Yeah. I do know where she lives. Adam's Indiana. a big she's Naples guy. Also, also worth $469 million, <laughs> which I'm like, oh, my goodness. So uh, I just want to say. Do you and book I don't, Judge Judy? Do I want? Do you book her travel? Good, but what I was going to say was, and I'm sure maybe I have more questions, but. I think what has happened with the Travel Mission podcast is so cool. And, and I think it's been so consistent and so key, and it's becoming a staple in the industry. And the infusion of you just brings a different yeah. uh, listening uh, experience to, yes. the, to the table. And, man, I'm excited to watch this thing grow. It's going to be amazing. And, listen, you're the king of the one-liners. You put me to shame. The things that you say, oh, I'm Jesus. telling you right now, and He's I love it because they're He's like giving the, they're giving the facts and they're reporting on stuff and they're giving opinions and you're like, man, I was in the trash at Disney Springs. <laughs> <laughs> Just pick it. What did you that say That wasn't a joke. Bob J. Peck? Oh, man. Oh, oh, beautiful well, Bob didn't show. Yeah. I invited Bob to this event. He didn't come? No, he wasn't here. I today. would be scared for him. Oh yeah! Here. Did you guys you see the Run earlier. Disney sign this morning in the Magic Kingdom? Oh, no, that was so funny. I didn't see it. No. It was so funny. Can we not good. speak of it? I, I don't know that we should say it we out should. loud. All right, well, we'll you put it on find it on Twitter. Twitter. Comments. Yeah. Look it up, Bob. WWE News Today. Yeah. 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 Oh, they'll put, they'll put it up. Oh, they already did. Oh, yeah. Two oh, they did. Ago. Of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My sister ran the marathon this morning. First one. Congratulations. Congratulations, Lauren. Better than me. I did not run anywhere this morning. The only place I ran was the I watched the runners from my balcony at the Which is pretty awesome. Cheering them on. Yeah. And they've closed the roads around here. It's horrible how the <laughs> roads are all messed up. You can't oh, yeah. go. It took me, I sat in an hour for, in an Uber for an hour to get here. Wow, what that must have cost you big time. Horrible. Hopefully they had that trivia iPad that you and I got. Oh, that was fun. Do you ever get the Uber drivers that, you know, I feel like I should have a conversation with them because it's like my masseuse, right? I feel like I should <laughs> talk for their benefit. Right. So I want to say hi, you know. So I say to the Uber driver, how you doing? And they give you the, <clears throat> you know. I had a very I nice Uber driver. Lewis, if you're watching, I thank you for Lewis. taking us all around the back way. But there was a language barrier. But uh -huh. I, he was so nice. Kind. We, you know, yeah. we had a lady last night, Deborah. Deborah. Just a gem Deborah. of society. She was great. Like, I mean, she had recently gotten out of county, and she came over to start <laughs> driving Uber. And she was just really... <laughs> Doing great things. So, so funny. This, isn't that what she said? She anyway. got out of the pen? Close. We, oh, maybe that was somebody else. I got confused. We've only got a couple minutes left with you, Adam. So okay. I want you to say one more thing, and that's if somebody's watching, and we got a question about applications, you should hear back faster than you'll hear back from any other travel agency in the business. Oh, that's true. But what, true. I wanna tell, what I want you to talk about is why, if somebody out there is watching or listening and they're not an agent, why should they join this team? Well, if anybody is going to make this pitch, and you guys, as I heard you say earlier, this is not a sales pitch kind of a deal, but right. a lot of people are listening. And because we're doing this just for general knowledge and fun and education and all those things that podcasts exist for. I'll tell you this. There is no better travel agency on planet Earth. No. This is a team of people that is united and bonded together. They love this brand. They love the industry. And I'll just tell you, our leadership team, uh, a team of 10, is faster at responding. We are more dedicated to growing this organization than anybody out there. I met an agent in line at the swag line, which is still out the door. Oh, <laughs> crazy. We're not going to have any yeah, swag yeah. left. <laughs> but there was an agent that said to me, can I stop you for a second and tell you my story? And I said, sure. And she said to me, I heard you speak at a conference six or seven years ago. I applied at a different agency. And I said, which one? And she said, I don't remember because it was, you know, it was a year ago. And she said, and they never got back with me. 
And I just am flabbergasted by that. Now, if right. you're not hiring, take your, let me give other agencies wow. advice. If you're not hiring, take your application <laughs> off your website. Disable the link. Disable the link. But if you are, man, follow up. And, and we're just like, there's so many people who are ready and hungry to get into this industry. If COVID taught us anything, if the mm-hmm. pandemic taught us any, anything, a secondary stream of un- income is important. Yep. And some of us have made it our primary stream of income, um, which is wonderful. It turned into that for some of us, doesn't for everybody. This industry is uh, at your own pace, how you want to go, but it's important. And Travelmation, I just believe, is the best organization around. Well, and what I love about it is the new tagline, get out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, that reminds me of July 2020 when, I mean, Disney opened and nobody knew what reopened. Right. And we had how many agents here leading the way? And so I just feel like we're consistently you know, pushing that. And yeah. I just love that idea. So I also think about get out there. It's, it's time to do it in yep. our society. Number one, mm-hmm. but I'm going to talk tonight about what that means for our life. Yep. And not only our organization, it'll be part of that, but for our life, when you um, stay in your little own town with the same people who talk like you and look like you, and you probably were raised around a, a similar group of folks. We, we, we don't get to experience the world. We don't get to see what it's all about. And getting out there and putting ourselves out there is so massively important to see culture, to see landscape, to, to experience memories with our family. It's so... We call it this morning our... Catchphrase? Catchphrase. Tagline. Tagline. Mm-hmm. I would the, say Pam. Tagline. Battle cry. Battle that's cry. That's Pam, said. Pam, who's one of our hosts tonight, gave me another one. And boy, you know, Pam... She's a, what she's a bright a, light. Well, she's a bright what light. a bright light in a dark, broken world yeah. is Pam Florio, <laughs> man, you know? Man. Uh, but anyway, uh, get out there is really going to be important. We'll talk about it more, and I know that'll be part of what you guys talk about as well because it just means so much. So, Well, thanks yeah. for coming, buddy. Thanks yep. for taking some time. And I'm got so a busy thrilled. Day. Have a gra- yeah, busy day. Is Michelle Fitzgerald coming? We she, haven't said we that yet. We didn't tell them. Oh, we're purpose. teasing it. Don't yes. I'll say it. Don't Google who it. that is. Okay, because she texted me, and she is en route. Okay, hey, perfect. Well, okay. What season what? did she win? Just 32, say the number. 32, perfect. Okay, so now we have to tell them who it is. So just as a tease, come in later in this episode of the Travelmation Podcast. Stay tuned. Michelle Fitzgerald from the show Survivor will be here in the room live and in person. Who were the Cookies final three of Survivor Co-Rong that, right that she beat? I would love for you to tell us. Aubrey and Ty, <laughs> two losers, and she smoked <laughs> oh, them. Yes. And then the jury gave her the proper uh, distinction. Listen, me, listen. I'm, still, I'm still mad about this season. Which well, oh. I think Xander should have won. Oh, this listen, isn't a survivor here's why podcast. I figured out the jury didn't pick him. And I don't agree with them because from a viewer's seat, I thought Xander should have won. They didn't pick him because he picked, um, what, who's the girl? Who, Erica, to, in the yeah. end. No, they should have booted her. Right. Yep. And he no. didn't. So they said, forget it. I'm not picking. They, they said, I'm writing you off. That jury, though. You yeah. know, oh, you know. A bunch of, <laughs> and with that, Adam Duckworth, the Adam president Duckworth. and founder. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> have a great day. Have a great show. Thanks, ladies Thank you, Adam. All right. Next up, Christina, tell us who's coming on the show next. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, we are here in the center of Walt Disney World. And who better to talk about Walt Disney World and all things Disney destinations? Because if you didn't know, Disney World is more than theme parks. It's a cruise line. Yes. It's Adventures by Disney the most amazing immersive guided tours. It's a lot of stuff. It's Alani out in in Hawaii. Hawaii. So Disney destinations is more than just the theme parks and our very own social media queen, Mm, Kristen Peterson is here to tell us about fresh off of a Disney cruise herself. They they parked the cruise ship right outside so she could (laughs) make it here in time. Right. Yeah. Yeah, We made it just in the nick of time. That's right. Guys, I'm excited about 2022 about everything that Disney is bringing for us. We're talking cruise ships, uh, new hotel, new rides. Uh, it's exciting. It's exciting to see what's coming for 2022. Well, how yes. was your Disney cruise? I mean, you just got Ooh. off the, the ship. Oh, my yeah. gosh. What, so yesterday? we went on Friday. Uh, we got off the ship on Friday. So we went on oh, the goodness. Disney Dream. Um, limited capacity. So it felt like the cruise ship was ours. Yep. The kids maybe had to wait in line. The longest was maybe 20 minutes for the aqueduct. So that alone... That's big. Paid That's for amazing. the whole trip right? because right. they big. could ride it over and over and over again. And mom and dad could just sit there and be like, I'm so glad you're having fun, honey. Right. Yes, right. you wave yeah. at me when you're going by. <laughs> yes. I love you too. So it was perfect. I'm just going to sip on my drink. <laughs> by well, my I, don't, and- I don't know if you guys feel this way, but, you know, when you have kids, being at a pool is sometimes stressful, stressful. right? Yes. Majorly stressful. And if yeah. we're at, you know, any other resort that's not a Disney resort, 
my wife is not relaxing. Like, no yeah. matter what the, you know, scenario is, she is on high alert. But at Disney, whether it's here at Disney World or Disney Cruise Line, those lifeguards, I mean, they are on it. Right. And they have, they're pacing yeah. and watching. And I think that's the only place that we can ever be with our kids and truly relax. So yeah. it's a So great one point. thing to keep in mind on the Disney Cruise ships right now is they're limiting the amount of people who can go in the pool at a time. Okay. Right. So what happens is before – the parents used to kind of like sit on the edges and let the kids kind of play. Well, now mom and dad can actually sit in the lounge chair and let the kid go in like to the kiddie pool one, yep. yeah. the not deep one. Right. right. And the kids can literally just go in and you don't have to sit on top of them. That's perfect. Because That's it's nice. the most relaxing part of the trip because they are... That's actually what they encourage. Yep. Right. They don't want moms and dads and they're taking right. up the capacity limit. Right. So let the kids go in. The go to lifeguards are pacing completely and mom and dad can just enjoy it. Oh, yeah. you having fun. I'm good. <laughs> it's, I mean, it was great. Hey, it awesome. was fantastic. Soft serve. That's huge. Soft, soft, serve. soft serve. My son ate five ice cream cones one afternoon. He's it's like, fine. mom, can I just go, wow. go get another one? Yeah, yep, you impressive. can. The Mickey bars, I think he ate close to 10 total yeah. our whole trip like can we do room service mom Amazing. yes yes you can yes. do that's room the service. ultimate pro move 100 percent room service we got on board we got into our room we called room service can you bring us five mickey bars they brought it and we toasted our mickey bars in the in the oh, room right I when we were there that's so special so with that being said i'm excited about the wish yes i think everything they've done for it so far all the promos they've shown for it it's going to be gorgeous I know. Yep. We're booked on it. For what next is the year, Disney wish? Or this year. I keep forgetting that we're in 2022. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Christina, what's the Disney wish? It is well, or is Disney's newest cruise ship. I mean, yeah. it is stunning. The pictures and videos that we've seen and all the renderings are very stunning. And they, they're doing dining a little bit differently. And they have more immersive and interactive experiences. The dining looks amazing. The dining? waltz, I'm like. Oh, well, I think the horrible. Frozen dining room Remarkable. alone is yep. going to bring every little princess, little oh, yeah. girl yeah. Totally. to that cruise ship because they want to do it. Set sail June 9th. Yep. Supposed yep. to embark I on so, yes. everything. I'm excited. I yep. think the, there's a Marvel area now for the yes. little boys. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my sons got on Disney Dream and saw the whole Star Wars area, and that was a big deal. Yes. So this is, for Marvel people, this is going to be Well, this is the first epic. cruise ship they've designed since having all the Marvel IP yeah. and all that stuff. That's so. true. So, yeah, I'm they can do more that. than Marvel Day at Sea. This yep. gave them the capacity to, like, really actually build it into their ships, which is huge. Yep. And what I like, because for the past two years, Disney's kind of been in a standstill. Like, they, they launched some creative projects that they had started, but it feels like 2022, we're going to get some new, fresh ideas in a lot of different ways. So, yes, we're going to get it on the Disney Wish, but talk about some of the other things Specifically for Walt Disney World, what are some of the new things that are coming? And Kristen, just so you know, your brother Casey said that the Mickey Bar Room Service was oh nice. Thank you. The family here. is watching. Yes. Hi everyone, we love you. <laughs> big big Travel Nation podcast supporters, by the way. Oh yes. I love it. Um, yes. So I'm excited about Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind yes. coming summer 2022 to Epcot. I think any time that Disney can bring in a roller coaster, yes, a win. we are reaching the older kids, too, Absolutely. who think, oh, Disney's just for little ones. It's not. No. There's plenty for everybody to do. And this particular ride, being Guardians, you know it's going to have a killer soundtrack. Yes. Right? So not just have yeah. they created these new uh, spinning vehicles, right? If you've seen any of the promos for it, they kind of, like, move independently from the so whole cool. thing. It's amazing i cannot wait to see how it feels to be on it yeah. right like right. is it going to be smooth kind of like mine train you know how it's very right. smooth when yep. you I, I feel like that's how I it's really going hope to so for my sake right <laughs> <laughs> you're going to do it at least once to uh, try yeah, at least once and then we'll we'll go from there yep i'm excited about that and then the galactic star cruiser so are you excited about it or are you buying the hype of like the bad videos and everything Okay, so we are, my son made Christian's us. Laughing. Christian's on his <laughs> edge of his seat right he's here. Saying too. Uh, so <laughs> my son made us Star Wars people, right? I was not, I didn't, I don't think I had ever seen a full movie before my son became obsessed. And he is a dark side person. Like, oh, so is Mason. I mean, huge Darth oh, Vader. Mason wow. likes Palpatine. I'm like, like who Star likes Palpatine oh, except oh, that's for you? I don't even know who that is. No, yeah. he loves <laughs> Darth <laughs> Vader. Um, my other son is Marvel, so he's Spider Man. But nice. Connor has always loved. Star Wars and so I've kind of had to learn along the way and become a fan 
Um, I think that when the families get in here and it's got that cruise ship idea, right? Like yep. you're there yes. and you are on board and you're going to do it. I think they're, the memories that you're going to make are going to far surpass any promo video that we've seen. So true. I think it's going to be, we are there, we're having fun, playing with the lightsabers. Like yep. yeah. we just got an Oculus for Christmas. So wow. mm. we've been playing the... I know what you're talking lightsaber about. Lightsaber one. Yeah. I'm really good at it. I got a perfect score. So oh I goodness. think like when we get into that Oculus, whatever type of room with the lightsabers, those types of memories that they make, and then you land and you get out of your ship at Galaxy's Edge. Right. So you're still part of the story. Yep. Anytime Disney can make you part of the story, you're winning. And yes, they're trying to think. Can we go to Baseline Tap House? Can right. we leave? I don't think so. Absolutely. I don't think so. So, lots of great stuff coming <laughs> for Disney. Baseline Tap House, oldie but a goodie. Kristen, thank, thank you, you for so coming much. and talking Appreciate about it. what's coming to Disney in 2022. So, next on the show, we have Bye, something special for you guys. If you're watching out there and you aren't an agent yet, this is the guy that you want to tune in and listen to because. Jeremy Jenkins is here joining us on the show. He is a brand new Travelmation travel agent. So come on, Jeremy. Jeremy, Woo! come on down. Oh, and look at us. We've got the dogs represented. Oh, he That's knows. Right. He yeah. knows what It really is college oh, wow. game day, We're not ladies biased and gentlemen. At all. No, not right. at all. Well, no, we are. So, right. <laughs> yeah. So, Jeremy, you can talk about the dogs if you want, but really talk about what has your experience been joining Travelmation this year? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Like, why are you here? Retreat? Give us the download. Yeah, this is one of the greatest decisions I've ever made. Aww. Like, honestly, this wow. is the best group of people I think I've ever been around. Yeah. Um, both from the leadership, the knowledge. Um, you know, coming in, I think you kind of feel like a little bit of arrogance, like, oh, I can bring a lot to the table. You know, I know Disney well. I know travel well. Yep. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> I mean, when you get around this group of people, it's truly incredible. Um, just the knowledge, the support. Um, the last 24 hours have been absolutely incredible. Um, and just the the camaraderie yeah. that everybody has together. So. He just hit top producer. Top producer yes. Yes. as of like last, last night. night. Probably the newest oh my one. Goodness. Last night. Yes, Thank you. congratulations. And I think to be here. you're such a testament to that, and that's so so important because a lot of people, they join and they wonder, like, how much can I sell my first year? Absolutely. And I will tell people, it varies as much as people vary. Mm -hmm. And you're such a testament to the fact that you can come on year one and hit $200,000 in book travel for mm. your first year. That's massive. Ooh. And you have a full-time job and a family. Yep. It's right. crazy. It, for me, I, I remember my first conversation with you. I told you that the 20,000 number was daunting for me. Right. Yeah. I, I was like, you know, honestly, I want to join Travelmation. I want to be a part of this. But the 20,000 number, I'm like, you know, it just it, it seems unattainable to me just because I had never done anything like this before. I know travel. I can, I can sell. I can do that. But just hitting that number was very daunting. And, you know, you hit that in the first 30 days. But, right. but you have to put in the work, right? That's you exactly. do, you do. Um, I don't think I understood how much training you guys go through, Yeah. how much we go through. Right. Um, and it's constant. I mean, we're constantly learning for our clients and bettering ourselves so that we can better serve them. Well, and especially in today's climate, I mean, right. travel change. guidelines change every 36 hours, right? Yeah. And so you've like, got to be on your toes yep. with that. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you have any favorite stories from your history with Travelmation so far? Favorite stories, the the road show was huge for me. Yeah, I yeah. think getting in front of people, and I knew a few people already, you know, I'll, I'll reach out to people on Facebook and like, hey, I like this post you had, or, yeah. you know, just kind of <laughs> introduce myself, but it's nothing like in person, yeah. right? So meeting people in person at that event was huge for me. Yeah. Um, and that obviously carried over to today and tomorrow and um, continue to meet people tonight and kind of go from there. But yeah, just developing the relationships has been the biggest part. Yeah, for sure. So you have a really special niche, one that I would say no other agent on our team has. And this is a group of guys that you've found because yes. of a passion of yours. Tell That's us right. a little bit about that. So kind of my guilty COVID pleasure, if you will. Um, I got into these nerdy pop culture shirts. I've actually got one on today. Star oh, I was hoping you'd bring a new yeah. one. So um, Seven Strong, Roosevelt's, uh, two companies that I kind of follow. We have people all over the country. We kind of formed this network through the COVID times. It was kind of my guilty pleasure when I'm quarantined at home, just looking for something yeah. to spend money on. <laughs> um, 
So join this amazing network of people, a lot like Travel Nation, just really good people, all kind of have a common interest, all get along really well. Um, so kind of one thing led to another. We've had a couple of meetups, gotten really close with them. Um, I would say as of this week, they're probably over $100,000 in my total book of business of people from oh this group. Oh, my goodness. Awesome. Yeah. That's so awesome. So it's, it's a great network of people. They're very supportive. Um, when I made my big push to hit Top Producers Club this last week, I had three that really came out and yeah. awesome. supported me, and they booked vacations. Wow. And, um, well, so that's what I love good. about what we do is – you know, people see Travel Nation. It's a great brand, right? It like, is, it's, absolutely. I think the best. But at the end of the day, like, people that book with you or book with Christina or whoever, like, they're supporting a small business. You know what yes. I mean? They are. Which yep. is so cool. And they want to rally behind you, yep. right? I mean, they're seeing your, your social media content. They're watching you because they are yes. friends with you. Um, and that makes a big difference to tell them, like, look, not only am I going to be, you know, it's, it's not just a client travel agent relationship, right? I'm a friend. So you can reach yes. out to me. You can text me. We can talk about travel. It's not work for me. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's, it is work, but it's, it doesn't feel like it. A yep. bad day in the Makes travel industry is still a better day than anywhere else. Anywhere else. else. Yeah. Especially TSA. I didn't work, <laughs> I didn't work through 2020, so I can't say what that was like, but it yes, was now fun. a bad it day is great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> well, Jeremy, awesome. thank you for coming. Thank you, brother. Thank you, you guys for awesome. having me. Appreciate Enjoy it. retreat. Awesome. We're so excited I will. to hang out with I'm you, I'm glad to be here. Thank you all for what you do. See you, brother. Awesome. Christina, tell us who's coming up next. Oh, my goodness. I mean, talk about a bright light. In a dark world. <laughs> okay, she's our favorite. so she's she our is. favorite. She's another South on, Florida local up. like me. This is Abby Koff Brown with Royal Caribbean. Wow. Oh my goodness! Wow, stunning, Hi, amazing. Guys. Hi, Abby. So Abby, so tell nice. us who are you wearing? Who are <laughs> <laughs> you? look so dashing. She's <laughs> also wearing navy. I mean, hello. Right? Wow. I mean, gosh. Hello. Just like I the rest knew, of us. I, I heard got the, the That's news. right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hi so, guys. Abby, what we've been, we've got a lot of people watching live. Some people are going to be listening. And the reason we wanted to bring vendors like you guys is we want you to talk about what are you excited for this year. And I don't mm -hmm. think there's someone that has more to be excited about in 2022 than Royal Caribbean. So, yeah. <laughs> what are you excited about? Well, I got to tell you, I mean, first of all, you know, it's been a ride to say the least, yes. the past couple years. So the number one thing I'm excited about is getting all of our ships back in the water. Yeah, so that's, that's huge. the yeah. number one thing that I just think is amazing. The other thing is we have new ships coming out, yep. right? So oh, we just yeah. came out with Odyssey. We have Wonder of the Seas. Um, we announced a world cruise. So these are all the new offerings cruise. that we've How many never nights? had before. How many nights is the world cruise? 270. The oh, full, all four wow. segments. That's quite um, the trip. Next month, we're going to be opening it where you can do individual segments. Yeah. So that will be a great thing. And then the other thing, and you know, I'm sitting here talking, especially with so many of your agents. And I think one of the things that I'm most excited about is I cannot tell you how many new cruisers we have. That's so true. So yeah. you would think after this whole experience, we'd get our loyal people back, right? Yep. Which we are. But we are getting so many people who have never been on a cruise before yeah, right. wanting to come. So I think that's one of the things that I'm just, it's kind of recharging me a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Making me yeah. feel like this is, we're here, we're there. Yeah. Right. So and when they great. get off the ship, they will love it. I mean, oh, they, yeah, come, they, no they will come back. Yeah, there's it's, no question about it. No it's question such an about easy kind of vacation yeah it's a cashless society which i already <laughs> right. love that and it's easy you can get off at port if you want yeah. you don't have to and if you want to see multiple places whether it's alaska or the mediterranean that's an easy way to get around and see yeah. different spots yeah of the world. i always have said you know especially you know i mean travel nation you guys are such a strong brand and i feel that we no are way. as well royal i think yeah. that you know, you're going to destinations in different parts of the globe and just traveling with a brand that you feel comfortable with, yep. um, I think just really speaks to it a lot. And, you know, there's so many generational cruising, family cruising, sing bachelorette parties, weddings. Mm -hmm. There's so many different options for so many different people. Tell us about your favorite Royal Caribbean cruise. My it favorite. Could either, it could be a personal one you've taken or hmm. maybe your favorite itinerary that's yeah. out there. Um, well, I will have to say, um, for graduation, my, when my older stepdaughter, I took her to Europe. Mm -hmm. We went on the Western Med, and, you know, at the time, um, it was just great. We went to Barcelona, we went to Florence, we went to Rome, we went to the Amalfi Coast. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm thinking I'm showing her all these great historical things through Europe, and she's like, oh, the movie Jumper was filmed here. <laughs> and she's got all these great movies, and yeah. Princess Diaries was filmed here. And great I just thought it was like 
the, our perspectives were so different on how yes. we looked at it, but it was a fabulous way to, I said, I got you here to Europe, you get yourself back. So it was <laughs> a really so great funny. way to kind of, ex, you know, expose her to that. So I think personally that was my favorite one. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Christian, what kind of questions you got for Well, I, I don't think I have a question. I'm just, <laughs> I'm honored to sit next to you. Oh. And, um, <laughs> My wife wants to cut her hair like Abby. Oh, she she talked about it last great. night. She's yep. really been pushing her to do that. Yep. I just want to say, if you're listening and you're thinking about cruising, what Abby and her team at Royal are doing are they're keeping people safe like 100%. no yeah. other. Uh, we said it last night at dinner. No if they vendor, were a state. The safest state. Safest state, state, state to be ever. State, yeah. And I think that just makes such a difference. And thank you, guys. That's really going the extra mile and beyond to yeah. take care of people and keep them safe. So thank yeah. you. No, thank you, guys. And, you know, I think it's something that we, as a clo as a group, Royal Caribbean group, all of our sister brands, Celebrity, Silver Sea, and Royal, it's we really are taking this serious. We want people to feel secure and comfortable. Yep. Um, listen, I, my 75-year-old mother just cruised with three of her 75-year-old friends, Great. and she's like, it was amazing. So I, I, if That's I can awesome. put my own mother on the ship, right. yes. anyone can yep. go. <laughs> yes. Amazing. Well, Abby, thank you for coming thank on our show. Guys. Thanks for thank taking the time. We know love you want to go talk to other it. agents. <laughs> Bye, guys. All right, Tim, I'm going to let you introduce our next guest because you guys oh, have yeah. something cooking for 2023. We do have something cooking, and uh, I, I joked with her at dinner last night. I think uh, you know, May text her now more than anybody else in my life. But this is Bo Woo, with hey, Celebrity Bo. Cruise Line. So thank you for being here. Fresh from oh, the on. expo. Also, yes. Bo has more energy than anybody I've ever met. Yes. Right. Maybe out of Duckworth, they could have like a competition. I'm a so. marathon runner. What can I tell you? Mar oh, did did you is. run this morning? I wish I could. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I actually did that. A really good one with uh, with uh, Disney years ago. Oh, I perfect! Oh, yes. Repeat because it was. I'm an elite runner, so they, they kind of picked me to do one of their really good runs. They call them the elite uh, Florida runners. Whoa! So, wow. So, mm. We are in the it presence of so greatness. Have, we have two tonight. famous people on the show this. today. Goodness. <laughs> we'll talk What's about your it. marathon time? Fastest one? Um, the fastest one is three oh eight. Oh my goodness. That is an hour and a half faster than I ran the marathon. Christian, your wife Mallory's in the back, and her jaw just dropped. Wow. Yeah. So awesome. Well, welcome. That is impressive. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Fantastic. To you talk a little bit about what what I just teased out. What's coming your way with celebrity? Yeah. So we have a I have a lifelong friend and client who they're musicians, and we put together a group cruise for them next year. Um, and so it's going to be on the Equinox, yes. and it's doing an amazing t itinerary, Southern yes. Caribbean. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, Exciting. yeah, it's going to be huge. And maybe so jumping really on well. it, too. I know yeah. we maybe were Maybe it's going to turn it. into yeah. a podcast. We might all yeah. join. Let's do it. it. Yeah. We all need room. So. I love it. We can do that. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So one thing I think we're privy to as travel agents is we really do understand the differences. It's not just a bunch of names of cruise lines out there. There are distinctive niches Absolutely. that you guys are aiming for. So we just had Abby Kauf Brown, one of our favorite people how is celebrity different and similar to Royal Caribbean well she's my sister Rand mm -hmm. and yes. I, I happen to have the pleasure to have worked with all three brands mm -hmm. yeah 35 years in this industry I wow. started when I was 10 years old of perfect course. Yes. Of course. <laughs> yeah. so it's really really a great way to see um, the way we look at it is they're our pu public school we are the private school oh okay yeah. oh I, like that. Yeah, I have love that analogy you tell them that so yeah, <laughs> she knows that. It's, it's a way of distinguishing a little bit right. it's easy for people to put that in to yes, that's good. Yeah, sure. So they have a great product. They have beautiful ships. We all have beautiful ships. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we we tend to really uh, focus more on our dining experience, our Michelin mm. chef yeah. uh, experience. Yes. All our chefs are Michelin chefs. Um, wow. We also have the beautiful uh, the retreat, which is a yes. different concept. It's a ship within ship concept so, so cool. guests really enjoy the retreat that love the love luxury it's the new luxury we call it not the stuffy luxury the new luxury that's <laughs> right. what celebrity is really right. so our retreat allows the guests to have the experience of their exclusivity because the retreat is all inclusive all included all suites yes so they own wow. butler service they have their own pool area their own uh, lounge area they have their own restaurant called Lumine. The crema, the crema of the oh dining. So, and then they have the rest of the ship to really enjoy. So that really is some concept that no one has out there. So uh, the ship, you know, if they want a beautiful spa day, they can go on a wow. on the ship 
that is our size because we have, they can be on their retreat and they still go out that retreat right. and still be in a luxury ship where they have a beautiful spa day. Or they can go on for a great show, for example. They can do that on a bigger ships like ours. Uh, it's a medium size. It's not big. Royal Caribbean has big, big ships. Right. So it's, it, it, it's all your preferences, yeah. really. They right. have gorgeous ships. We have fantastic ships. Yes. And you have Captain <laughs> Kate. I mean, hello. Yeah. Who yes. doesn't love Captain she Kate? She is such a Celebrity. great she face of amazing. the brand. Well, yeah. I think what I love about you guys during the pandemic, you pivoted your yep. pricing. Yes. And so I love it when I when I go to sell a celebrity cruise. It's okay. an all-inclusive experience. Oh, so, yep. you know, your gratuities, your Wi-Fi, your drink package, even at the base level, Absolutely. that's all included, which Always I love. Always included. included. Exactly. Yep. That is the, the concept that we feel that goes well with the, our type of clientele that Correct. really loves the luxury and they don't want to be nickel and dime. Correct. Right. This is super easy. You book your ticket, you go. It's a seamless vacation from the start and that's what yep. we believe in as a luxury brand. That's so amazing. it is really important. And we have options. They can upgrade to, yep. to elevate. In, in elevate or to indulge with wow. all, you know, it's just, I think it's, it's uh, a win-win. Yep. And you're famous in our agency for giving away free cruises. <laughs> are you giving away a cruise right I now? I am. Actually. She is. Are you serious? She is today. You better put your name there. Oh, and my goodness. And before the end of this show. That is amazing. I am so excited. This is a great show you guys put it on. Wow. Thank you so much <laughs> for having us there. So that's another perk of being at the Travel Nation Retreat. you got to be there next year. So, Bo, thank you for coming. We thank love yes. having you. Thank you. We'll thank get you on so a celebrity much. ship soon. On yes, behalf we will. of celebrity cruises and family, we thank you so much. This oh. is a wonderful, wonderful Thank you, Bo. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. All right, our next guest. We've got a couple more guests. Stay tuned. Don't leave just yet. Christian, I'm going to let you introduce Ooh, who's coming up definitely. on the mic. Don't take your jacket off. Uh, who's coming up a next? A very special person. Ooh. That, um, if you're listening, I'm very excited <laughs> to have on. You went to the moody voice. You did. <laughs> did, I, did you see that? This is my wife, Mallory Dumont. Hello. Top Mallory. producer. Top, Top producer. producing producer. agent with Travelmation. That's right. Hi. Mallory, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I just felt so warm inside. Like, oh. I'm glad they no let PDA, me sit next guys. to you. No PDA. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, Mallory, there's a couple reasons we wanted you specifically. Out of 700 agents, there's a reason we said Mallory Dumont needs to come on this yes. episode. We've heard about retreat. We've heard about new agents. I want to know how you treat being an agent like a business because you do, I would say, probably the best job out of all agents at treating this like a business. So just tell us some of your best yes. habits, what you've done so far as an agent. Well, I think one of the biggest parts of treating it like a business is also to remember the relational aspect of it. Yeah. yeah. And I can't help but after coming after a celebrity and Royal Caribbean, I have to give a shout out to one of my uh, VIP clients who is watching <laughs> Oh, wow. uh, right now, his name is Justin. He just got off a nine night on a lure, and Ooh. he also wanted me to reiterate just how safe he felt on the wow. ship and the amazing protocols and the great Tell job that the they're room doing. He had. <laughs> he had a crown loft suite. Oh, hello. Those are insane. All right. It was insane. I love those. I was insanely jealous. Justin, those are the two it, story, right? And yes. it's the bed. Oh my yes. gosh. It was amazing. amazing. And Justin, if you're watching, she. I want to say she talks to Justin more than she talks to me. <laughs> she really does. It's okay. And I understand. Uh, I have some clients that are that way. Yeah, too, yes, so. for sure, for yep. sure. But uh, he's amazing. So thank you, Justin. Um, and just the business aspect of um, of this job is just continuing to be relational with people and building that that trust and that friendship with uh, with your clients. And one of the biggest ways that we've done that in our community is. Um, by being a part of the Chamber of Commerce. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, the relationships we've built there have just been so key and uh, so fun. The people in our community who are a part of the Chamber are just really fun people. Uh, they enjoy traveling and they book some really cool trips too. That's awesome. So yeah. That is awesome. Christian, were you gonna say something? I he's just, stare, just, I, he's I just staring at away. me. Oh, I can't wow. look away. Just <laughs> gazing. <laughs> yeah, he's just staring. Like usually this is, so, this is audio, so wow. you, you, those of you who are watching don't get to see Right, your faces, and right. you're just staring at me. Yeah, <laughs> making her feel so love. comfortable. Yeah, right. Right. Amazing. <laughs> Tell us this: How, when you became an agent, <laughs> what did it take to get to top producer? Because that is a yeah. distinction that you carry, and it's a big deal in the company. It means you've sold over two hundred thousand in traveled sales. So, what did that journey look like for you? Um, one word, just nonstop. I mean, mm. you just don't stop. You don't stop working. You don't stop talking about travel. You don't stop. Um, treating your clients um, with the care and the concern um, for their travel as if it was your own trip. 
um, every trip that I book, I look at it as if I'm on the trip with them. That's good. And so if I'm planning my own trip, I need to make sure that all the pieces are in line. And so I do that for every single client. And so it really is this nonstop. You just, you just have to continue to grind and continue to work. You do do that for every client because Justin commented and he says he loves, he loves <laughs> you both. Awesome. He says he loves you, but he, he really, I know he, he loves you. Really, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, Mallory is wonderful. She's, I mean, she is the epitome of what it, what it looks like for a travel agent to just really work hard and, lean into your community and, and market in different ways that a lot of us are not, you know, and she's really just very innovative in the way that she yeah. gets each sale and, and well, that's why you. she's a top producer. When I, Jeremy mentioned the uh, Travel Mation Road Show when he was with us yes. earlier. Mm -hmm. And uh, so in every city, me and Christina Cooper got to kind of Regis and Kelly style <laughs> host, you know, a couple top producers and do a QA. and a And I remember in Pittsburgh, when you were talking, I was like, taking notes uh, it was yeah. amazing so yeah you're fantastic well thank you i appreciate yep. it yeah it, it 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 really is all about seeing yourself as a small business Absolutely. i mean and, 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 and no business is going to thrive if you don't get ingrained in serving in your community and being a part of that local community so because yep. it's not yes it's a business and it's about sales and it's about it's about <laughs> booking trips and booking travel and every right. business is about sales because you're selling a product or a service and that's how you support your family sure that's that is the goal but it's it's all about people, mm -hmm. and it's all about serving people. And if you lo ever lose sight of that, then you're in it for the wrong reason. And right. that's why we love being you know involved in our community in different ways. And that's why I like being a part of the Chamber of Commerce because it it is like a family of small businesses in our community, and it is really fun to be a part of that. That is talk awesome. about the awards you've won. I mean, you're not you're not just a travel agent. I love that people think that this is just a hobby that we all have. <laughs> but you're winning awards in your I'm community. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really proud of her. She's really awesome. Oh, she Christian. Is, Who knew we'd have yeah. tears Let's take on a break. show We'll today. be back in five, <laughs> all right? <laughs> Who knew we'd have tears? I knew we'd have tears. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Mallory did. That's okay. I cried when he was announced I cry as over part everything. of the podcast. Spider-Man oh. No Way Home, oh, I cried no, so I many times. Mallory, he went to see it without me. Mallory Let the cried world know the entire last hour. She oh cried for a whole gosh. hour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. I have not seen it. Please don't spoil it. Me either. It. So when okay, we need to go see yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. You can't, you can't say anything today. about that movie without spoiling it. It's I know. Amazing. I'm impressed that you've not had it spoiled yet. It's been well, everywhere. I've given him enough about not spoiling it because he went to see it without me. Mm. Right. Just so, just so we can make oh, that. Just to be clear. She you. gave me permission. I did. I told <laughs> him I did. I told him yeah. he could. It was fine. But no, the awards, um, the awards I've won, you know, uh, Number one travel agent uh, with the best of the boot in our area and with the uh, Goldsboro News Argus it's just with our local papers and our local publications uh, is a huge, huge honor. Um, there are other travel agents in our area and they're phenomenal. They're great. They're hard workers. They have great client bases. So it was really humbling and really a great honor to, to win those and to even be nominated for them. Um, and they, like I said, those are really prestigious awards in our community because it is all about the small business and it's all about it. um, those relationships and those local local businesses that we support. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, we've said it before and we'll say it again, but, you know, each of us is a small business. So when you book a trip with us, you know, we want to help you make memories, but we it's just amazing because you're helping our small business as well. And right. it's just the best way to grow. Definitely. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. Christian, tell us your favorite Mallory story. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I'm leave. Mallory, <laughs> it's not really a story, but, like, we are so night and day. Mallory calendars every breath of her life. It's yeah. on a calendar wow. somewhere. It's great. Her email, every single email is deleted and processed. I mean, yep. I'm like 20,000 deep in emails. <laughs> cool. yeah. My whole life them. is in there. There's, I'm never cleaning it up. So um, You just have to just get a new email address. Just don't even just start look at over. that one. Just start oh, over. Yeah. And then start filing. And then he's going to forward all the old ones to his new one. Just <laughs> you know, I've got 20 board. million tabs open on my computer. And now she oh, just no. has one. And, you know. Yeah. It's amazing. That's yeah. awesome. Definitely yeah. polar opposites. Yeah. <laughs> Complete polar opposites. That's this, where we work. Yeah. Total extrovert. Me, I'm more comfortable like a one on one. Yeah. I'm surprised she even did this. I don't know who asked her to do it. But, well, um, it's a camera. It's not an audience. So I can just pretend there's no one there. And we're there's just no one there. Nobody's there. Don't worry. Just Justin's there. Just 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 there. Just yeah, just there. there. For sure. Yeah. Just that, is always my, watching. that is my number one fan right there. That's yeah. awesome. Well, well thanks joke. for coming on the show. Thanks, thanks for, for having being me. Here. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, how sweet. Sweet. 
Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mallory. Thanks, Mal. I want y'all to hear it from me, too. We are sleeping together. Okay? So you did hear it from me. (laughs) Okay? Hot take. Hot take. It's not going to be a a scandal. No, it's not going to be a scandal for me. (laughs) Y'all heard it from me. Oh, my goodness. That is funny. Well, we have a couple guests left. We've got about 30 minutes left in this live broadcast. I'm having fun. Are y'all having fun? Yeah. Yeah. There's just, I feel like I'm drinking from a fire hose. Just ready to wow. roll. <laughs> Absolutely. I and can't believe we have 30 minutes left. That's amazing. Wow. That's, that's, that's right. We've gone an hour. We've done an hour already. An hour. How has it been an hour? But we're saving the best for last. And so we want to announce right now, reveal, she's an icon in the television industry. Wow. A true gem and a great person. <laughs> great gal. Michelle Fitzgerald from Palace Resorts. Welcome Hello, to Michelle. the Travel Nation Podcast Welcome. Live. Hi, guys. What's hey, going on? How are you? <laughs> Good to see you guys. We're just like you. To I literally today. just got in from my Perfect. flight. Happy Excellent. to be here. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you for, for just getting straight here. I mean, we know that you did just land. That's and, it. I'm and happy. That's yep. I'm happy to see everyone. Some familiar that's faces. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Guys. Yep. We're doing great. So we're talking about, so we've got a lot of people. It's not just an audience of one. There are agents watching, clients watching. And we've had vendors talk about what they're excited for their brands in 2022. So first of all, I want to hear the story because I've always wondered this. How does Survivor and Palace Resorts, like how do they live as one in your life? And then you can tell us about what you're excited for Palace in 2022. <laughs> That's a Survivor really great first, question. How <laughs> do you manage it all, I guess? I feel like I'm like um, Superman or something where like Obviously. I have two lives. Yes. You know, I, I really do try to compartmentalize it. Like I try to keep my work life, work life, survivor life, survivor life, but you can't help but kind of bleed into each other a little bit. Right. Um, and it's always a good conversation point. Like if, if you know, I don't know what to talk to my agents about. I'm always like, survivor card. Right. You know? <laughs> I was on survivor, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you're not in. into this tropical, let me tell you about another one. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Usually it comes up on fams, like, you know, halfway. halfway yeah, like in March fam. when we all met in Cancun. Yeah. So I remember FaceTiming Mallory and the kids. I was like, you're gonna ne- never going to guess who's here. So, right. Yeah, yeah. but Adam knew. I oh, mean, Adam knew. As soon as yeah. you saw her, right? Like, yeah. he knew because he is yeah. the biggest survivor fan. Yeah. A lot of my there. agents don't know, right. so Which is usually more fun. it's so funny. Like one person will know, and then it kind of trickles through, and <laughs> you know, by the end of it, everybody's asking me questions. So, but right. it's fun. Like it's just a fun life experience that I've had, and right. it's something really easy to share and talk about, and people to like kind of connect over. So, I love that I have that side to me as well. You know, it can't be all work. Right, it's right. Be exactly. Fun too. Right. Well, and I like how you said you compartmentalize it because there's more to Michelle than just Survivor. You love Palace. You love the all-inclusive brand. So what drew you to Palace, and what are you excited about for the future of Palace? So I actually got – I 10 years ago, I want to say, when I got my first call for Survivor, I actually the same day got a job at working as a travel agent. Oh, <laughs> same no Same day. Awesome. I was on the phone with Survivor when my job called me and was like, you got the job. I was like, huh. Perfect. How's this going to work yeah, out? Yeah. So Whoa. my career and Survivor have always kind of been like intermingled. And I've, I've always been drawn to the travel industry because we're a lot of like-minded people. I think everybody wants to get out. They want to explore. They want this, these experiences for themselves and they want to share it. And you get to create these pivotal, pivotal moments for people's lives. Yeah. And so yeah. I've always loved that. So I went, moved from a travel agent to doing educational travel. And then I just wanted to move back to New Jersey. And I had reached out to Palace Resorts because I to- sold a ton of it mm-hmm. when I was a travel agent. And I was like, guys... How about let's create a job in New Jersey and let's hire me? <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Frank did me a solid and did just that. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, I've I've worked here for three and a half years now and I've loved every minute of it. Yeah. Yeah. Are we allowed to talk about Turks? I don't or know. Is, is it on the DL or can I we don't talk know. about it? Well, I think we you just, just about you it. just did. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll talk about a rumor yeah? I've heard <laughs> that. Oh, a good old rumor, mill, rumor. A rumor I've heard that one of my favorite brands and one of the <laughs> most popular destinations in the world might be a match made in heaven pretty soon. So is is that rumor? Have you heard it? Do you know I've anything? Heard a, I've heard a little rumor. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what we're allowed to say or not, but we definitely have some exciting things in the pipeline. Um, and I love Turks and Caicos. Yes. Seems like a nice place to build Perfect. a really nice resort. <laughs> right. Well, instead of Turks and Caicos, let's talk about LeBlanc and what oh, you yeah. love about LeBlanc and part of the Palace brand that that is. I love LeBlanc. I actually like have um, – I work as a BDM in New, uh, New Jersey, Connecticut, New York. 
But I also do regional sales for LeBlanc as well. So mm -hmm. a lot of my focus is LeBlanc. Um, and I just, I absolutely love it. There's, as soon as you walk into LeBlanc, your like whole body relaxes. It's exactly. stunning. It's so relaxing. They take care of everything. And I'm, I'm yeah. somebody who really can kind of go off and live on an island, but I like to be pampered as well. Right. <laughs> and at first I thought I would be a little bit uncomfortable having a butler and all of these experiences and really like being pampered in that way, but I seem to ease in quite nicely. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> just fine. I seem to really love that. So yeah, it's, it's a great brand. I think um, we're, we recently opened up in Cabo and I do think we have some things in the future. Oh nice. wow. That see, I, awesome. I love LeBlanc because you walk in and it's like all you see are whites and blues. Yeah. So yeah. like the blue of the sky and the ocean and the white just in the lobbies and everywhere and then so much natural light coming in. It is yeah. like a breath of fresh air when you walk into a to a LeBlanc for sure. It yeah. is. It is. You get that welcome, that white welcome drink and you're like, oh my yes. God, I am in heaven. Yeah. That's it right. does feel that way. Yep. Like you're in heaven. Yeah. My wife and I are going to uh, Cancun, at LeBlanc in Cancun at the end of the month. First yeah. time. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. First yeah. time? Uh, her first time. I've been on a, like a visit. We yes. had lunch there. Yeah, yeah, we had lunch. Yeah. yeah. And so I think that's good. that was the thing that stuck out first to me is when people think about all inclusives in Mexico specifically, they think, oh, am I going to get sick eating the food? And so not only are you not going <laughs> to no. get sick at the all inclusive that is LeBlanc, it may be some of the best food you've ever had in your entire life, For all sure. inclusive. So talk a little bit about the food, the experience, and just all of LeBlanc. Yeah, I think that there's like this misconception when people talk about all inclusives that it's going to be more like quantity over quality. Right. And I think Palace does a really good job of making sure that the food is quality. And we have, you know, Michelin star chefs that curate our pastries. And you know, from the minute that you see it, it looks delicious. It is delicious. And I think that they pay attention to the smallest things, like they get the, where they get their olive oil in Italy, to oh, that's how they make their bread or their, their ice cream in-house. So like everything, the attention to detail is definitely like a fine dining experience. And I love that, that I love that I get to spend so much time there. <laughs> right. My waistline doesn't necessarily right. love it, but the food is it's fantastic. Right. It's Certified vacation. Angus beef and yeah, you definitely will not leave wanting more. Right. <laughs> right. You'll be full, don't worry. Right. Yep. <laughs> Christian, were you going to yeah, say Yeah, well, I just want to say, if you're listening, uh, Travelmation is preferred partner with Palace and LeBlanc. So that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. absolutely. Rest assured, we can take care of you. And 100%. that was an intentional choice because I think for my average clients that look at these lists of all-inclusives, oh whether my. it's Mexico mm -hmm. or Jamaica, it's it's there are hundreds of properties, and nobody can trust the star ratings anymore, right? It's like I feel like that's just made up. But that's why when we go as an agency, when we go as agents and experience properties that are just different, we can confidently say, you want to go here. And that was my experience the first time I went to Grand at Moon Palace. Just a stunning experience. And I actually went there from a different all-inclusive that I won't say by name because <laughs> it should be burned to the ground. I remember this. <laughs> but, I remember man. the stories of this. But... It was such a different experience, and I just think for the agents that are watching specifically, Palace is a brand you can trust because they're, every time I've sent a client there, their experience is just above and beyond amazing. And so do you feel like that was your experience before you were even a part of the brand? Did you ever get to go to a Palace resort before? Yeah, I had felt being an agent – coming from that side of it, it's very overwhelming. I was in a retail store, so people would walk in, and they'd be like, I want to go to a nice, sunny place. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> well, awesome. that doesn't narrow it down no. much. Right. So yeah. then, what, you're looking at price points, or you're looking at star ratings, or yep. whatever it is. And so it's really nice to have a few brands in your back pocket that you yes. just know, you trust, and you can automatically just throw it out, feeling yep. confident. And mm -hmm. I did that with, with the Palace Resorts brand. And that's really how I got into being a BDM because I was like, yep. I love it. I know I love it. I know the, I can sell the product really easily. Yep. And so it was a natural progression for me to come into it. So I think like you need to have some sort of brands that you know and trust universally and then you right. can really sell it a lot easier. Yeah, so 100%. I say get down to Palace if, you ha if you're an agent watching this and you haven't oh, yeah. been before and see it, taste it, experience it, and then you're going to be able to sell it so much easier. Which Absolutely. one's your favorite of all of yeah, the Yeah, I had that question, too. That exist. Oh, God. Well, it changes every time. I think I fall in love with them for all different reasons. Like, the Grand is so fun, and yeah. I am a kid at heart. I right. love to go to the arcades and play all the games. Sure, I have a cocktail in my yeah. hand. <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, elbowing kids yeah. out of the way. But oh, I find that to be really – I find <laughs> the Grand to be really fun. 
Um, well, in the but water then, park too. Like yeah, the water park. Is Mexican all inclusive with a water park can be very dangerous yeah. or awesome. It's and awesome. Palace it's awesome. is awesome. It's awesome. I have lost many a days to. I think people think that it's just for kids, but no, I can vouch that it is not. Um, so I love the Grand for that, but I do like adults only. Like I love Sun Palace. I mm. love the LeBlancs, obviously. Yeah. Um, but it just depends. Cozumel for diving. I love them all. Yeah. Yep. It's like picking a favorite child. Trying right. me do that. Exactly. Right. <laughs> we had the immense pl uh, privilege. We in February of 2020. So if you remember. And you know your memory serves you well. March of 2020 wasn't great for the travel industry, but <laughs> February of 2020, the hopping. world was so our fun. oyster. Oh, right. yeah. We were at LeBlanc in Cabo, and I just remember thinking, this is different. I mean, Cabo in itself as a destination was just so cool. We're watching whales while ha enjoying a beverage on the beach. That's just a different experience. But being at LeBlanc there, and I remember the spa specifically. Like, if you were a spa Addict, These are your you resorts. need to get to the LeBlanc resorts because they're just above and beyond. And the Grand, actually, too. Yeah. I mean, fantastic spa. So just an amazing experience. But anything else you want to wrap with? Palace, Michelle, your life, any gossip you want to drop for us on the gossip. show? Gossip? I don't <laughs> gossip. Who do you think should have won the last season of Survivor that just happened? Oh, God, it's so hard to say because I really resonated with Erica. Uh -huh. Obviously, my first season was a very similar game to hers yep. so I have a soft spot for her I think in that way but like who was it didn't want Xander to win same Ooh, see Aww. that's what I said Xander is so cute <laughs> but like that's I'm what happy my mom with the way says. it ended we haven't had a girl winner in so long yeah. we yeah. needed a girl to win yeah. so I was excited to see yep. a girl take the W yep. will yeah. you be back on TV anywhere we can find you soon I don't <laughs> like I am enjoying a nice, quiet, peaceful life right now. Oh nice. yeah. I I, go, I get a little crazy, a little stir crazy though. But my job keeps me traveling. It keeps me right. energized. Yeah. Right. So my life is full. Um, and yeah, I don't know. We'll see. That's awesome. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on our show. Thank thanks for taking you. time. Enjoy the expo. Enjoy getting to meet all the agents and. Hopefully yeah, we'll see you again here. soon. I'm yep. happy to be here. You yeah. guys are coming to the after party tonight, right? Oh, so oh of course. Thanks. This is our party. DJ right here. This is the what? DJ. Oh, the DJ? Oh, yes. the DJ. Oh, Look Kristen. At the brooch. Kristen, ask right her if she has a song request. What's your one song that you have to hear? <laughs> are you kidding me? Let's hear it. Yeah. Let's hear it. And he'll, he'll make it happen. So while Michelle's thinking. I was going to say thinking, Survivor. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, does it have to be Destiny no. Child Survivor? Right. <laughs> I feel like it's necessary. Right. It should be. That's, that's true. That's like my karaoke song. That's my everything, you know. Yeah. You are it, a Survivor. You sing it? If we play it, will you sing it? In a corner. I feel like <laughs> that was a yes. Corner, this is your party tonight, It's your party. Michelle. You're throwing it. I mean, it. you are throwing us a party tonight. Yep. Yes. Agents, we are throwing watching. you a party, but I, I'm, yeah, not, I'm not, not hired singing. for entertainment. <laughs> Nobody wants me singing, trust me. Your ears will leave bleeding. <laughs> oh, gosh. Trust me. That's awesome. Well, thank awesome. you for coming. Thank You're you so awesome. much. Yeah, Enjoy the expo. Thank you guys for having we'll me. I appreciate yep. it. I'm yeah. so appreciate happy to be here, honestly. Thank you. Killing it. Thank you. All right. Last. Second to last guest. She's so bubbly. So bubbly. Yeah. She's great. So awesome. Uh, we've got two more guests for you, and I'm going to set this one up because she is something special, <laughs> and she's a little nervous, so you got to give her some slack, <laughs> but we have two more guests. We've got Garth Laird coming from Sandals, but before that, we have one of four Travelmation Platinum wow. top producers, which means a million plus dollars on the book. So when you talk about Unreal. legends in this agency, yeah. Tim, Tim, obviously, for sure, he's one of the legends. And then this sweet gal, you would never expect it because she's so kind and so <laughs> loving. Million and dollar agents are not kind is what Alston is saying. <laughs> what do you think? They're like obsessed Thanks a lot. with work. It's like, it. oh, i got to get this fucking done. But that's not. She's the, shaking her head. Yeah, she knows. It's a, it's so, a ploy. Gainel Sinka, come on down. Come on, Gainel. Come on down, Woo! Gainel. Woo! My favorite Gainel story was we were, um, we were at an event somewhere together or I don't know. And she was just like. Giddy laughing, and she's like, I just booked 50 cruise rooms. <laughs> like, it's like, how? That's what? just a Tuesday, though. Yeah, right? that's a normal Tuesday. <laughs> yes. So, welcome. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. We're I'm happy to nervous. have you. I'm like, oh, no. You're I know. Great. There's nobody on the other end of the camera, really, except for a few people. Yeah. So. That's right. Hey, Justin. Yeah. <laughs> if you're yep. still with us. Justin's with us. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gainel, we've had brand new agents, we've had top producers come on the show. How in the world did you get to a million dollar book of business? I, I, mm, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and, and let me I, just add, from her phone. Yeah. She from does her not phone. like This lady doesn't use a laptop or a desktop. Yeah, it's she so just doesn't bizarre. like it. I and do. It's crazy. I use my phone for everything, but I think 
I'm type A and I get my crazy energy from my dad. So it is just like book, book, book. So I'm constantly yeah. doing that. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. She's a nurse. Yeah, she, and she's a full-time nurse. Oh, she's a full-time full job. Oh, right. beautiful family. Too. Yep. Her <laughs> husband's an agent with us. So yes. it's amazing. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah. And my thing is I love serving people. Yep. So I think that that is just a natural thing that I'm able to do when I'm doing travel. So to be able to help those families get through those things, even with COVID, yeah. that's like my, that's my baby. Yeah, <laughs> there absolutely. you go. So to make sure that everyone gets their tests, make sure that everything's on time, make sure they have their travel authorizations. Oh, yes. That is like, that's me. Yep. So. Yeah. Was it uh, instant success? Like how long have you been an agent? And did you feel like from out of the gate, were you just booking all the time, 50 cruises on a Tuesday? Or? So, <laughs> <laughs> so when I first started, it was uh, February of 2019. Okay. And... I didn't know what to expect, to be mm. honest. And we just, like, I started going, and it just became successful. And it was like every year, it, that, well, the second year, I'm sorry, it doubled. And then this last year, it tripled. Yeah. Oh right. Goodness. So it's, it's, so, it's a phew, blessing. It's so funny to me because we've had Jeremy on, who's a very new agent, and just hit top producers last night. We had your wife Mallory on. And yes. get, but to me, the common thread is people, right? And yep. just those relationships. And That's I right. think... For people like me and you, like mm -hmm. I, I know how your brain works and how you feel. Like it's easy to get caught up in a spreadsheet and like a booking and a goal and like did I hit it or whatever. But at the end of the day, that's what it's about is mm -hmm. that relationship and right. just I still I mean, yesterday I had a client of mine tag me in a photo on Facebook and it was their two year old at Castaway Key wow. playing in the sand. You know what I mean? And it's like he's having his great first cruise and like that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. So and that's what I hear from you. The memories. Awesome. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Any yeah. advice, words of wisdom, agents watching, anything that you would just give them some encouragement because you're such a positive force of energy. <laughs> My thing is do as much as you can. Do it as often as you can. Get on those websites. Get Learn how to book. Find your niche. That's I think good. that's the thing. Cruising is my niche. It was my niche. And then the pandemic hit. Mm -hmm. So everything had to switch. You pivoted well. Man. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, yes, yeah. <laughs> so that's why I'm like shocked for this year. Because yep. I pivoted to majorly like hit Disney, hit Universal, and Sandals, Palace, yes. like all those all-inclusives. That's what totally drove up the business. Yeah, that's so true. For that's sure. Amazing. That's awesome. Well, Gainel, you did it. You're done. Thank that's you for it. coming on the show. You crushed it. <laughs> you were awesome. So Gainel, <laughs> what song do you want to hear at the after party tonight? Okay. Apple bottom jeans. Hey, <laughs> now we're Goodness. talking. Wow, what wow. World. a banger. I think we can do that for yeah. you. Yeah. Even though she got me kicked out almost of the sci-fi <laughs> drive-in diner. Should, I mean, you want to tell? <laughs> Why do we tell that story? Let's yeah. tell that story. She's so sweet story. and quiet. Tell, tell what happened, you almost Gaino? got me kicked <laughs> out of there. Oh, my gosh. Someone dropped a cup. He's in the bathroom. <laughs> you came Well, out. you get lost. If you go in the oh, sci-fi drive-in diner, maze. it's dark as can be in there. Yep. You can't see, and it's so quiet. Everyone's eating and watching a movie. I, but I think you turned your cell phone light on and like, yep. hey, can I help you find anything? And they're trying to get all the glass up. Oh, my I was goodness. trying to help the waiter. You turn your light on in there, and it light, it's oh like the God. sun comes up. <laughs> <laughs> What oh an experience. So what an experience. Fun. Wow. Gosh. Well, maybe we should go back this weekend That's and we right. could have a makeup we meal. So we can really get we kicked do. out. <laughs> yeah, so let's we can try really it. Get kicked yeah. out. We'll yeah. get a baseline tap house afterwards. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Be fun. Thank, Thank you, Gaynor. Thank, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're the best. All right, Tim. We have one final guest. Oh, my. And you've got to introduce this guy because there's no greater partner to the brand wow. than you. So talk about who's coming up to close out this wow. Travel Mission podcast. Yeah, live. so uh, you know me. I'm a Sandals and Beaches Resorts fan, and we have the Garth Laird with wow. us oh my from goodness. Sandals oh Resorts. Oh, my God. goodness. He Garth, is a Garth, Sandals Garth. celebrity. If well, anyone's ever made this. me feel underdressed. Open, one leg open. I would do that's one right. Leg yep, that's right. That's do right. Do it open, Garth. Okay. You Looking sharp as well, well Garth. I, I'm coming to a Travel Mission event, so. Oh, you, you have to bring the A game. I have to put my A game together. It smells so good, too. I showered. You can smell it. Good night. <laughs> That's How amazing. Are you guys doing? We're doing great, doing man. Doing fantastic. It's great cool. event so far. Is a lot of energy out there? Uh, it, it's, you know, one of the things that I find so amazing. And this morning when I walked in, you felt the energy. I don't know what was being given away or what was happening, <laughs> but all I heard was, yay! And I go, for a second, I thought it was me, but then I realized yeah. it had nothing to do I, with I me. promise we're not a multi level marketing company right. or a cult. <laughs> no, Either one not, of us. Wow. It is on the record. <laughs> the multi level marketing, I can speak to the cult, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> because. One of the good things, and listen, Sandals has the same kind of following from a, from a travel advisor Absolutely. standpoint, 
there's a certain sense of energy that you get when people believe in what it is that you do. And from a leadership standpoint, what you guys do to get people to be this passionate. I met somebody 19 years old, probably been in the business a month. Wow. Came and told me, oh, I just sold my first sandals. So <laughs> that kind of is amazing. my favorite. And that's some of the things that I want 19. Hear. That's when he started with sandals, you That's right. 19. Yeah, wow. four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I wish I could say it was only 19. I've already done 27 years with the company. Wow. wow. So that's amazing. I, amazing. I, I have people working for me who were not born when I started working that's for the organization. Crazy. But I won't tell you how old I am because <laughs> I, I sign off at 36. Even that's right. It's nowhere near that, Absolutely. that age group. <laughs> well, I mean, where are you from, Garth? I'm originally from Jamaica, born and raised. Wow. Um, spent 26 years in Jamaica. Then I decided I wanted different and I ended up in Chicago. Oh, okay. Loved Chicago. Me spent too. three and a half years there. Um, still have friends that I go back and visit every year. And then I ended up in Florida. Perfect. And I figure, you know what, Florida, the weather is better year round. Yes. I may want to give this a try. Then I, you know, I got married. I have a kid, all of these wonderful things. So I have to be stable right now. That's good. And keep my life. Keep yes. My life. That's right. Said. Well, Florida's happy to have you. Oh, we just absolutely. See, there you go. That's what I love to hear. <laughs> absolutely. So go ahead, man. I was just going to say what I love, and we talked about this. We had dinner with you in Pittsburgh earlier this year. Yes, and, we uh, did. One I time. love that you said you've been with the company 27 years. I feel like everybody that I meet with the Sandals and Beaches brand mm -hmm. so long. Yeah. has been around for so long. And to me, that speaks to the consistency of the brand and the a culture. brand that you can trust. Yeah. Absolutely. So there's a lot of syn synergies between our companies, right? And when I look at your leadership group, everybody grew up in Travelmation. Yes. Mm -hmm. With Sandals, it's the exact same thing, you know. Our senior vice, executive vice president has been with the company 33 years. I'm the vice president. I've been there 27. Liz, as the director, has done 21 years. This week, we just made a bunch of announcements. Carly, Carly. who you guys all yep. know and yes. love. Yeah. Yep. And as much as it's, it's a sad thing for me to oh, take her no. away yes. from you, but she's not promoted. Then Ashley's being promoted. Right. Yep. Melissa has been promoted. Susan. So because we give people opportunities to grow within the organization, yeah. Right. That gives a sense of loyalty because they go, if I put in the work, I'm going to be able to grow in the organization. I, again, like I said, it's synergies, and it's one of the things I felt that first time. And, of course, I'm coming to the dinner, and Carly goes, Garth, you have to be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, they bring energy. And I'm like, Carly, come on. I've been to a 1,000 dinners. Yeah. Like, how different could it be? <laughs> and I walk in. And you would have thought we all knew each other. Oh, yeah. yeah. For we were there for many, quite a while. Years, yeah. Yes. Right? That was a good dinner. It, it, felt, it felt like it was that kind of energy, like we weren't strangers. Yeah. And then funny enough, you walked up to me mm. today and said, oh, my God, so good to see you. So I, I ran into somebody who said, oh, my God, two years ago you had dinner with me up in Jacksonville. I'm like, what? You go, yeah, <laughs> we, you know, you ordered the shrimp, but end up giving you the meat, and oh, you don't okay. eat meat. So <laughs> <laughs> Either I stand out or I create too many problems everywhere I go. Right. I'm not quite sure which one Definitely it is. Definitely not the latter. <laughs> it seemed no, like no. we were so close there, someone asked if we were related. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, can yeah. See I, I can see I mean, it. If you yeah. saw me yesterday, we would have been more related because <laughs> I had the beard up. going. It's not, it's not as full and beautiful as yours. It's wow. a little <laughs> choppy on the sides with some gray. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, but, but this is my last ever hairstyle. I'm oh, never going it. to have another hairstyle oh, after it, today. This is the very last one. We're trying to be you. But love it. Well, Garth, we've had a lot of vendors on right. the show in this podcast. And basically the one question we want to know, because these agents and clients that are watching, they're ready to get out there and travel. Yeah. So what are you excited about for sandals and for beaches this coming year? No, how much time do I have? There's a lot. You got eight <laughs> whole minutes <laughs> left. No, no because, <laughs> because it's the 40th anniversary, I need 40 minutes. Oh, no. that's right. Deal. <laughs> One of the things with our company is innovation. It's not standing with what exists today. You know, I share the story of the chairman who, you know, unfortunately has passed. Mm. When he opened the hotels, his first thing was to give the customer more than they expect. And right. that's been a hallmark of the organization. You know, whenever we build a resort, we don't go, you know what, this, this works, let's just rebuild this. We go, tell us what works here, mm -hmm. tell us what's not working here, how do we improve on it? And when yep. you look at the projects that are coming down the pipeline, Royal Bahamian completely redone, yep. swim, up, swim up rooms. Um, you look at the Curacao project mm -hmm. oh, with yeah. heart-shaped suites. Everything is designed on how do we make it a That's better cool. experience for the customer. Because there are two elements that come with it. If we, if we include customer satisfaction, it makes it an easier product for you guys to sell, yep. which then it becomes more beneficial for you. And from a transactional standpoint, it actually makes it very, very prof profitable. Right. But everything comes down to how do we build on the things that already are there 
and make it better. But we're not waiting on anybody to, to lead us. We have to be the leaders in our division, and that's really what it's all about. And yeah. you guys are doing that. I mean. We, you know, it, it's um, when you look at it, again, for a company that was built in the Caribbean, and we talk about the synergies with where we are today, from a customer recognition standpoint, there's no brand that stands up in the travel industry pound for pound to Sandals Resorts. We're not the largest brand, but if you stop 10 people on the road and you say, hey, listen, yep. I'm going to Sandals, they go, oh yeah, I knew somebody or I've been. A lot of your, your advisors here, one lady had got her honeymoon there 20 years ago, then she had her 10th anniversary. I have somebody going down for their 10th anniversary in March. So I've met so many people here this week that have fallen in love with the brand from when they were consumers to now wanting to know how to better work and, and, and do better business with us. And that's, that's really good. I mean, you guys are the most reputable, reputable all-inclusive brand out there, hands down. And then you were able probably to reach so many more people when you were referenced in the office so much. Right. <laughs> Uh, okay. Scott I got comes two up a lot, tickets to Paris. So we're probably the most parodied brand in, 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 in the travel industry space because I don't remember the name of the show. I'm watching some stupid thing on Netflix the other day, some cartoon thing, and there's a clip in there where there's a little a little packet with a sandals. And the guy references and goes, well, nobody's a millionaire here, so who's going to stand? And I'm like, hold on, that's not right. That's right. You don't not have to be a to go. <laughs> but it's impressive to see, again, how we've been able to grow and evolve as a company and an organization. Now, Adam Stewart at the helm has a tremendous vision for where he wants to take the brand to be. Five hotels in the next three years, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot more destinations to come because the philosophy is find the best infrastructure Yep. Hire the best people and then just let everything happen organically so in its execution. Well, and I love, so for me personally, you know, I book a lot of sandals, but I. I've if, heard no that way. Oh, you a of sandals. <laughs> but I, if somebody says all inclusive, you're where I start. Like, right. I'm not Absolutely. starting anywhere. And it's, if the first several quotes I send don't get them, like, it's a challenge for, like, I had a yeah. honeymoon client two weeks ago that I was working on, and I'd sent them probably 10 quotes. And the, the fiance comes back and he's like, look, this, it's just not what, you know, she's looking for. Right. We really want X, Y, and Z. And I was like, Latak and St. Lucia, the rooms are there. And we booked it. And he was like, it's perfect. So I love that every resort has different vibes, different room types, budgets, everything. Activities. I yep. mean. Yeah. So, so I haven't really spoken much about just the resort and the, the whole inclusions aspect of it. Because, like I said, from a brand recognition standpoint, that already exists. But one of the things that we've done, and I know we have both advisors and consumers on this thing, mm -hmm. our philosophy is what's in it for the consumer, what the benefits that they get. But as an advisor, from a financial standpoint, what are the gains that you get every single time you, you do a transaction? Now, I have to commend you, Tim, in the space of a year, two years, right. three years, <laughs> how you've been able to grow your sandals business. The first year, it was a slight little move, and then you made a jump, and now to, to be at a point where you're part of our Chairman's Royal Club, which is the most exclusive club with only 66 members that exist throughout the world. What? Wow. Right? We've it's, been so, told so it was less than 100. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, it's, 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 it's 66 officially is what we are as of today. Of course, that number can change, may go up a little 66. bit, but, Damn, but wow. you're in that very select group of folks who've made a commitment to one, work with Sandals Resorts, two, to book Sandals Resorts, but I also think it comes because there's consumer confidence. Because Absolutely. I can promise you, as a salesperson, you wouldn't be recommending something that you were uncomfortable with. No. Right. Right. So from a consumer, and if the consumers are out there, listen, I could spend all day telling you how great Sandals <laughs> Resorts could. is, right? I'll even put on my Jamaican accent and talk to you in Jamaica, and I say, listen, anytime time I don't want to come to Jamaica, <laughs> everything all right still, right? I want to come off of the plane, we're there for me, you know, everybody go cool, everything go work a certain kind of way. <laughs> I understood that. But that's not really what it's I about. I actually did. If you're looking for mm -hmm. the best vacation experience with the best people, the best service standards, everything being seamless, then you want to do sandals. Because you can find alcohol anywhere. Restaurants, I think we outdo everybody else. Well, because it's the variety, the it's the selection. It's, it's what makes the difference. And it comes back to what I said. If you give the clients more than what they're asking for, it automatically puts them at ease. Yep. 
it for sure. automatically puts them at ease. Not that there's a bad brand out here. I just think we always try to take it to that very next level. When you guys have been one step ahead when new travel guidelines yeah. have come out or mm -hmm. whatever with the included insurance and the cleanliness protocols, and like constantly I can I can book with it us. with yeah. confidence because yeah. I know they're going to be taken care of. Yeah. So so when you look at what we've just launched with the vacation assurance program, mm -hmm. right? Listen, nobody would hope that anybody tests positive while they're on vacation. Correct. But again, making it seamless. We'll do the replacement vacation. We'll give you air credit, $500 to go back on another vacation. And then while you're there, you don't have to worry about paying out of pocket to complete the vacation that you're currently right. on. That's wow. amazing. So it comes back to, and I've said it a thousand times, just making sure that the consumer is confident mm -hmm. in the service levels and the product that you're actually putting out there. So the vacation assurance, there's nobody who can top that right now. And no. I see a lot of folks scrambling, trying to figure out ways to, to match that program, yeah. but they won't be able to do it because yeah. you have to have a true commitment to the consumer. You have to have a true commitment to the right. advisor in order to pull off programs similar to that. I agree. Well, every time we talk about sandals or beaches, we always say there's one big problem and that's the availability. And so if it's you're watching this and you're a client, <laughs> it's time to book your 2023 Three. or 2024 yeah, just get it on the books. Yep. vacation. Yep. So Garth, yeah, for sure. I, I, I just want to close out by saying thank you to you guys for allowing Sandals Resorts an opportunity here to speak. I think when you look at a Caribbean brand and a Caribbean destination, to have the worldwide recognition, and again, congratulations. I heard some announcements this morning for the Travel Nation group. Mm. Whatever you guys are doing, you're doing it the right way. Appreciate that. It, it is really incredible to have partners like you to be able to work with, and from a, a provider standpoint, we're committed to working more closely with your team to be able to present more to the consumer that they can take advantage of. And for your advisors who haven't seen the resorts yet, we have 70 people across the United States that they can reach out to to learn little, a little bit more about the product and yes. the brand and what it is that we do. Absolutely. So thank you for everything that you guys have done and congratulations again. Thanks, Garth. Yes. I appreciate it. Thank you, Garth. Yep. Thanks, Thanks for coming for on here. the show. All man. right. Thank you awesome. so much, guys. Time. Thank you, brother. We'll right. see you soon. We'll get to see you around. One of 66. Wow. One of 66. That's, that's big. That's pretty cool. And it Massive. lifts all of us little agents up. That's right. What a burden. All here ships. to serve. What a burden. <laughs> Guys, I, that hour and a half flew by. It yeah. did. Honestly. I'm ready for some more coffee. Absolutely, yeah. we're ready. But anything you guys want to say, any final closing thoughts for those that have stuck around, they've watched, they're listening, what would you guys say as we go back and launch into the Travel Mation Retreat? Go ahead, Christian. People are ready to get out there, and um, this is going to be a good year. We bring you all the great travel news the news that you want to hear and sometimes you probably don't want to hear that's right because <laughs> yeah. i've got right. some of it <laughs> he's ready yeah i'm Hot just takes. excited to be here we have our our opening night kickoff events tonight yeah. it will also be live on our travel yes, Facebook 7 p.m page. eastern that's yes. right don't miss that yep, be sure to tune in oh my gosh so definitely tune in i'm just excited about that and excited to get everybody in one room and just feel the energy and christian will be djing the after party that's after right. that that will be private though that will not be on our nope, Facebook you got to be page. here to experience not that not me um but i'm excited to just learn from all of our vendors and learn from each other and i'm excited for the next few days ahead while we're here at retreat that's right so catch us live tonight at 7 p.m and if you're not there we'll see you